Hi guys, Chris, we're back with another episode from my York City career. We have a game coming up against Norwich, and then we have transfer deadline day. Quickly check the team out ahead of this game against Norwich. I think it's going to be a debut for Matthias de Chilio in at right back. Uh, central defenders aren't looking the greatest, so for well, for Engie really more than anything else. So. Uh, Camacho, I'm not too sure I want to bring you in. I want to bring Prez Alonso in and bring him along. Camacho, I'm hoping to sell. We'll give uh, Luke Shaw. Yeah, Luke Shaw's got a little bit more energy. We'll bring him in. Danny Welbeck, I want to play you. Soriano, we'll bring you in. Hayams, I'll move you. And I think Silver's back from suspension, I think. Oh, no, he's out injured, isn't he? Severely injured, yeah. Um, it's either Juan Marcos or Pascal Lemaire. Um, we'll go with Pascal. Oh, even he's not got much energy, so. Um, we'll go with Juan Marcos. Check the substitutes bench. Uh, seems to be all we can really do for now. I'll check the reserves. Valverde. Potentially. I think we have a choice of bringing you up. Medeiros, still nowhere near coming back. Garay needs a rest. Sprained knee for Silva, so he's out for a while. Yeah, I think we're just going to have to go with uh, the team, this team that we've got, hopefully. Um, we're away, so we may struggle. But we'll get this match done, we'll get it underway, and then uh, hopefully, yeah, we'll. We um, can hear back from Chelsea pretty soon regarding Lukaku. I'm prepared to go um, and put a bid in higher than he is um, than the one we've currently got in for him. So I know he's valued at 13 million, and we only put in a 6 million bid for him. Um, was also to be fair, we've got um, Camacho. We could look to get rid of. He's we have six. Um, don't want to do that skill. Um, I don't know why he's running. We have uh, we have six central defenders, and I don't think I'm ever going to get to use them all. Um, Perez Alonso is rated the same as Camacho, I believe, but Perez Alonso is 20, whereas Camacho is 22. So there's more chance for Perez Alonso to, to get better. So that's the one thing I'm going to look to try and do, is get rid of Camacho in the transfer. And I think he's valued around 7 million. Um, so hopefully, yeah, we can bring him... Um, get rid of him and bring in some transfer funds as we're on the attack here with Soriano trying to find a bit of space there we go, Baker to Taylor back to Soriano, we have a shot, oh, it's blocked but yeah, if, um, I don't think I'm going to be playing Camacho so he's going to be one to try and get rid of we've still got um, the offer from Hamburg for Mattox that we could um, we could accept, could potentially um, sell him uh, to. Uh, I may one thing I I wanted to do pre in between recordings, but forgot. So I'm going to do it live with you guys. Is have a look at Hamburg squad, and we'll see if there happens to be anyone in Hamburg squad who we could look to bring in. Shoot, didn't mean to do that. But yeah, if there's anyone in Hamburg squad we could look to bring in potentially part exchange Mattox with, because we know they want him. So rather than having to go through the whole rigmarole of um, one transfer in and then bring in and then sell in Mattox, we could just look to do it all in one go, hopefully. Oh shit, need to defend this. Yeah, hopefully um, they will um, accept a part X, because like I said, we, we know they want Mattox. As Moreno Fuentes through on goal now. Go on, fella. Go on, fella. Go on, go on. Shoot. Beautiful goal. Yes. That's what we want. Yeah, hope, um, there is a uh, looking to see if we can get rid of, uh, of Mattox. Although, um, I don't know because Canteros is out for a while. So we do run the risk of um, not having enough strikers if I sell um, Mattox and don't bring in someone. So there is, obviously there's Lukaku we could look to bring in. Um, there's also Diego Costa. I mean, I'm annoyed with the fact that um, clubs like oh shit um, clubs like uh, who was it um, Sporting 
for uh, Ricky Van Wolfswinkel. They give, they you put an inquiry and they say you can have him for around three point six million. You put in a four million bid, and they turn around and say no. It, I, I don't understand the logic. It's got to be something in the game. It's got to be FIFA in, in their gameplay. As we through and go all the game with Soriano. Oh, great save, Ruddy. I assume it's Ruddy in goal. But yeah, um, I don't understand the, the concept behind it. Um, why, if you have an inquiry, surely that should give you uh, a rough estimate because it's basically it's going to be FIFA that generates the... Um, uh, what's it? The the offer and FIFA. It's FIFA and their coding that generates what the inquiry comes back. If it says you, we want 15 million for him, then we've got to go to 15 million. If FIFA come back and say 3.6, surely you put in a bid for four. The the code's going to be there to understand that that four is better than three. That you've put in an offer for three point. You put in an, uh, an inquiry. The inquiry came back and said you can have him for 3.6 you've put in a 4 million bid it knows that 4 is bigger than 3.6 as we were offside there were we? yeah just um, so it knows that you can get away and do that but hopefully that may be something that's uh, fixed in FIFA 14 I'm, I, I'm, I'm guessing like a lot of you guys you've seen the trailers oh, sorry not the trailer you've seen all the news on the website and the, the couple of little videos that have been going around and the uh, other YouTubers that have been putting videos out, but yeah, I, I, I'm yet to. I, I like what I've seen so far, but obviously, being um, uh, doing career mode, I want to see what they actually do with career mode. The the initial um, images that I've seen, which I'm guessing everyone's seen, are and for me do look pretty good. The I do like Ultimate Team, and uh, I wish I had. Um, done more on that on my channel and I, I may do in the future as we get to half time and it's a uh, one nil but yeah I may look to do more regarding um, ultimate team in the future but getting back to FIFA 14 and career mode you've seen the graphics and they do look good they do look to be a lot more like career mode, like an ultimate team where you've got you've, you've not got as many menus and I believe one of the things they are looking to do is the fact that you've got the email or was it I think it was email was it just messages so therefore you're not constantly um, when you're trying to simulate through days to your next game you're not constantly having to in like a week's period being stopped every day especially during the transfer window because um, obviously there's a good chance oh what a shot um, yeah there's a good chance that you're going to be especially during the transfer window you're going to be stopped every day with either someone wanting to buy one of your players or an inquiry that you've made back, a contract that's been declined. So, just getting the messages. Obviously, you know, you will know from when you play the game what um, what you've got coming up. Oof, great save, Foster. But yeah, you will know what what you've got coming up in terms of offers in, offers out. So therefore, if you know, obviously, it's not the January transfer window, it's not the August transfer window, and you've got two messages, you may not want to read them straight away because there's a good chance it's not anything important there's a good chance it's actually just crap from a maybe a, a managerial offer it may be something else well I'm going to make some changes now Welbeck's looking a bit on the knackered side so who I'll, tell, I'll bring on Escobar uh, who else can we bring on to be fair? Hayams can come on other than that, no, my field's fairly knackered. So we'll just make those two changes. But yeah, that's uh, one thing I do hope, and do I hope that the EA do stick to it regarding FIFA 14 is the, the movement in between games and it make it a lot easier. I hope they fix the issue with um, uh, time between games. Obviously, we only had a two day break in between these two games. We played. Um, it was Coventry in the Cup on the Saturday, and now we've now got a game on the Monday against um, against, no, against Norwich here. So it just makes you wonder. I've seen, um, and I've had it in the past, where I had two games in two days, 
when um, I think it was in the third or fourth season with York in this career, they had yeah two games in two days. So I even took a picture of it. Oh shit! Oh great, save Foster. I took a picture of it and and tweeted it out to a few people because I knew you do know um, like one of the people I follow on YouTube, um, Hey Giorki, hey uh, tough man. He moans to shit about um, the fact that EA. Especially if you're in the Europa League, they'll schedule a game for Thursday and then one for um, Sun and then one for Saturday. Oof, good header. But yeah, they'll still schedule schedule you two games in three days, whereas that's not in real life, and that's not what happens. So you got to hope that that's, that problem gets fixed as well. But um, one thing that I, I have seen, and, and um, so I may, I'm not going to rant about it now, but it's people that. Moan at EA now. Oh, what a goal! Beautiful goal, Escobar. Um, I see you replay that one. But yeah, it's people that moan about EA to fix things on FIFA 13. EA aren't going to fix anything on FIFA 13 they, because they're already hip deep in FIFA 14. Ooh, potentially a hint of offside there. But yeah, I can't see. Uh, there's no point moaning to EA and complaining about things that are wrong in FIFA 13 because they're not going to fix them. That for me, in my own personal point of view, is they'll fix things that are wrong in the first three, four months, maybe up to, oh shit, hit the bar, um, maybe up to, I don't know, I'd say March time, maybe they may start, um, they maybe fix things then, but then after that, you've got to think they're probably already now working on FIFA 15, even though FIFA 13 is still out and FIFA 14 hasn't come out yet. I'm sure they're working on these things that they'll be thinking about for FIFA 15, because they won't, like any company, bring it all out in one go. They'll do it um, over several um, over several episodes and several um, games and several modes. Oh, but never mind, less than 10 minutes to go in this game now against Norwich. I'm sort of not doing mo any commentary really for this one. It's sort of been uh, just talking about other things. But yeah, a comment was made in the uh, the last episode about it, you. Maybe it was a bit boring for you guys me just commentating. So you'll have to let me know what you think of this style where I talk about and rant about certain things whilst you guys see the game. Is it too much? Have I sort of spoke about other things too much? And you want a bit more commentary? Oh shit! Two one. Poor defending there. Um, yeah, you got, you'll have to have to let me know. And I, I know some people aren't the biggest fan of seeing the full game. I'm trying to come up with a happy medium. I I like watching gameplay, but I don't want to just have um, as some people do like one game per episode or just cutting it up into bits. I think I'm just trying to find a, a happy medium and a sort of niche where you every episode you'll see one game in full and also the simulation of say two three other games. Unless, like it was your last game, in transfer windows, then it gets a bit, a bit of a ball. Like maybe, in few, maybe like in the uh, August transfer window, there's when it gets to the end, you may find it's just a simulation episode. As we're um, we're trying to get everything done and trying to get through um, to to in uh, to get the transfer window done, basically. So therefore, it's a bit easy to simulate through it all because we've only got. A short space. I want to try and make this episode about 20 minutes. Fraser Forster there with Man of the Match for a 2 1 win. Um, well, we shall have to see, but hopefully, we're here back. Um, looks like it's taking its time going through. Okay, two games to go in the transfer window. It's FC Bayern confirmed. John talks. Yeah, big week coming up in the Champions League, isn't it? Quite looking forward to the, uh, the potential of an all German final. It could be quite fun. It'll definitely be interesting. Well, here we go. Trans performance. By players will search for Hamburg League, Bundesliga. Come on, where are you? There we go. And we'll find Hamburg. And we'll search, see who they have available. Hopefully, there's someone who they may be willing to to get rid of. Um, Kung Min Sun potentially is a centre forward. Christian Norgard could. Looking for the right back, left back. I don't really want any. 
Uh, let's have a quick look at this null guard to be fair. Vision is 83, ball control 84, dribbling 86, long pass 88. He's 77 so he wouldn't be first choice but with like Silver getting injured we're sort of struggling that little happy medium. Wow he can play a whole host of positions. He's a dribbler. Let's, I didn't mean to do that, let's go that one. Approach to buy. 1.6. Um, sorry, one year, six months, not 1.6. Let's try and have a look at this. Huang Min Sun. Acceleration 86, agility 86, sprint speed 86. So, he's a speedster. Finishing 85, ball control 87, long shots 80. Play centre forward strike, so we can play. I'll tell you what, yeah, we'll try and get this. How long has he got left in his contract? One year, six months. Okay, if we go to five and a half million and Mattox, where is he? See, Mattox is 27 and he's rated 78, whereas this guy's 25 and rated 82. We'll put that bid in. We'll see what they say back. He's on 45 grand a week, so it's not that bad. If it gets down to say five hours, we've not heard anything, then I'll look to bring in and look to try and go for Diego Costa. Transfer off unacceptable for sporting uh, for Ricky Van Wolfsburg. I'm going to leave that. Chelsea transfer offer rejected. I believe he's worth more. So let's go back in for Lukaku. I'll go seven and a half. I was going to go to eight, maybe nine, but. I would just want to see. I don't want to pay too much, basically. So we've got to cut off offers in for a couple of. Oh shit! No, I didn't mean to do that. No, advance. Got offers in for a couple of players. Offer unacceptable. If you increase the cash sum to nine point one, um, I'll tell you what. We'll go six and a half in Matix. That should hopefully get that deal done. I've got Camacho as well, I want to try and sell. He's available and he's on the transfer list, so hopefully we can sell him. Oh, I'll tell you what, we'll go and we'll, we'll inquire for um, Lukaku, see what they say, view shortlist. Where are we? Lukaku, there you are. I can't, so we'll just go to buy. I wonder if they'll accept Camacho. Where are you? Camacho. Oh, that may be a bit too much actually. I'll go 3 million and Camacho. That's 10 million if you take a million and a half off for Camacho. That's a 9 million deal. So hopefully that deal gets done. That'll be a defender out. Half, uh, Hamburg, wow, 6.5. 45 grand a week, 10%, 4 years. Crucial. That's that sorted, 45,000 a week. So that's not too bad. Um, actually, transfers, transfer negotiations. Was it six, yeah, I think it's six and a half million plus. That's right, I'm oh, doing to do that again. That's the other thing that I, I don't like about FIFA and I hope they bring in is the fact that viewing old, old messages, I mean, you may have, there may be a way. Uh, unable to do it, but I can't. Um, not interested in the player. Okay, contract offer declined. So he wants more money, basically. We'll go to fifty grand. Crucial first team player, and six and a half. So that leaves me with the transfer. Budget, budget allocation that leaves me six and a half, leaves me with four million and fifty five, so that leaves me with up forty one. So I'll tell you what, we'll go after Diego Costa. I've got a bit of cover. Uh, view shortlist. Diego Costa, bye. Three, he's on forty five grand a week, so that's not two. I could get two strikers in here. Hopefully we do get a player to sell as well, but you never know. Five hours to go. I did say five hours to go. I'd look to try and get in. Transfer offer accepted for Hung Min Sun. Sorry, yeah, Hung Min Sun. 
accept and leaves me four million and forty five thousand so that's enough to get Diego Costa in to transfer offer for Fabinho Borussia Mönchengladbach seven million counter offer fifteen million if they accept it they accept it and I mean I've got De Chilio, so I do have cover in that role but that is another new striker in hopefully his son I think I've used him on ultimate team I'm sure there's someone so it's not too bad retransfer offer for Gladback we don't believe he's worth that much not going to go ahead transfer offer rejected cost us that's one in one out so I'll tell you what do I go after this Christing again I've got four million and he's on 15 grand so I could actually um yeah I'll tell you what sod it transfers view shortlist we'll go after this Christig another midfield actually no no Welbeck acceleration 95 no nope, Christig acceleration 95 compared to Christig 69 so basically looking at those physical attributes it's Nana Welbeck all the way apart from strength mental attributes is roughly the same skill attributes ball control slightly better for Chris Digg his curve is a lot better dribbling is too better and the Welbeck slightly better finisher long pass Chris Digg is better penalties is better at short pass he's better at um, medium medium both uh, skill moves not too, I don't, I'm not really much of a skiller so traits Acrobat. Um, we'll go after Lorenzo Christig. Approach to buy. We'll offer them Camacho. And we'll offer 3 million. See what they say to that. And then we'll move this schedule on. And now I think if they don't say no, if they don't say yes now, no, I don't think we're going to get this deal done. It's an hour to go. So if it's not accepted now, transfer for unacceptable. Oh, no limited transfer offer. If I can bring it, in fact, to tell you what, um, I don't think I'm going to be able to get this done in an hour. I'll try, but I need to move the wage budget around, bring that down. 25,000 to accept that. Transfers, transfer negotiations. Chris Digg to transfer offer. We go to four and a half. But I don't think I'm not going to be able to get this done, but we'll put it in anyway. Just to see if we'll test their resolve and see if they'll get that done. Transfer deadline day has ended. Okay, so we've got a new striker in, so we've freshened up the starting um, the starting forwards. Um, I think it could possibly and will be Benzia and, uh, sorry not Benzia, uh, Welbeck and Son are the two forwards. The Tournament prize money, the board are giving us 71,000 for the FA Cup win. Youth squad report for Rude Valmete. Looking to be a really good player. But, well... Arsenal accept 22.5 million bid for Andre Ayew, York City's biggest transfer. Yeah, so we've got a couple of players in and a couple of players out, as Fraser Foster was the player of the month you can see there on screen. Um, calendar, what have we got coming up? Uh, a couple of uh, internationals. You know what, yeah, we'll get this done in this episode, quickly get through those, hopefully. Um... Yeah, we'll get the game done on Wednesday and then we'll call it a day there. Nothing much else. But yes, I uh, should have done some more negotiations. We'll keep an eye, our eye on um, Nana Welbeck. I may look to bring him in in the August transfer window as Guillermo Silva has returned to training. And we have these international friendlies. I'm going to check the squad, but there's not going to be much I'm going to do with the team. I'm, thinking I'm just going to leave it as his energy is fine for most of the players. I'm just going to leave it. It's more of this is more of a way of me um, gaming gaining XP rather than anything else. Um, and again, it's a friendly against Australia. I'm not gonna 
take it seriously. There we go, 2 1 win. Benitez and Casido with the goals. A last minute win, it looks like. One down, one to go. Player injured. Juan Casado out for four months. Holy shit. So, where do you play, fella? Um, oh, you're on the bench, so that's not too bad. Who shall I bring on? Uh, I'll bring on Jefferson Benitez instead, just so we've got the cover there all sorted. Don't need to worry about anything else. Back out of all that. And we'll get this next game underway. Wow, rocking on to 25 minutes. That's Thiago Medeiros. Great news for York. Actually, we didn't get any defenders out then, did we? So, we are struggling. But, something I've just remembered. And, I'll look at it now. But I'm actually glad I've still got some money left and we've not um, sold... Um, we're not sorry, not bought anyone and used our, our whole entire budget as Valencia was injured. Fergie's not going to be happy with that. Benitez, Rojas, and Minda with the goals. How long is Valencia out for? Let's have a quick look. Player injured. Valencia, Valencia. Ah, oh, that only out for three days. Gabriel Valverde for me at York out for three days. Um. Yeah, well, advance a couple of days. Um, it's um, the contracts. I want to see whose contract is up for renewal. I need to start negotiating contracts with with people. Um, okay, so we've got two games against Everton coming up against them in the league and then in the cups. So actually, what I'm going to do? We'll make this episode a half an hour episode. Didn't mean to go into that one. Manager's office. We'll go contracts. Okay, so we've got Piccolo and Escobar. Um, Piccolo, I don't want to do anything with Escobar. I do want to keep. Uh, we'll offer him that. He'll say 1500 He wanted, I think he wanted two grand. Um, yeah, we'll get this game done against Everton. I want to play. I want to play the cup game. I think that's going to be more 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 important game to play. Form for a lot of the players is not looking great. It's better for here and Mayer. His energy is looking okay. Lazarevich, no. Garay, yep. De Souza Silva, yep. Shini, why is actually Fabino fix? If he is, I'll play him. So, form's not too bad. Sure, form should be okay, actually. At least it's their international, because the international break there, form's pretty crap. Next match, sim match. We'll get this one done out of the way. Okay, Everton have beaten Blackburn 3-0, Bristol City 1-0, and Liverpool, they lost to. Jeremia sent off shit, and Hayams was um, injured. Goals for Soriano and Welbeck, so they're forming a good partnership. Sun was on the bench, forgot to check that, but he was also on the bench, so that's good news. Well, he would have replaced um, Mattox. Hayams only out for five days, so that's not too bad. Um, but yeah, we'll get this schedule moved on and then I'll make the Everton game the one that's played in the next episode but I won't record for a couple of days and I'll let you guys um, let me know in the comments below whether you think the way I commentated over the Norwich game was great or if you think I should change it in any way um, well Freddie Sears was a top score I didn't see that with six goals okay guys yeah I'll call it a day there it's a bumper half an hour episode Hope you've enjoyed it. Leave some comments below. Um, hope you like the uh, the new signing we brought in as well. Um, basically, all the new signings in the transfer window. Hope you enjoyed them. Hopefully, we'll uh, we'll get some good goals out of them in the in the coming months. Um, so, guys, how uh, put in the comments below how you think we'll get on in the um, in the cup game. Uh, thanks for watching. Cheers. <laughs>